Black It Out, Spotlight on Hulk number 18. Al Ewing, Joe Bennett, wonderful colors provided by Paul Mounts of the great Ultraverse. We got our buddy, Mr. Joe Fixit version of Hulk up against the Abomination, but it ain't Emil Blonsky. It's actually uh, somebody else, namely Rick Jones for a shocking scene in the book. We've got McGee out to try and find him. Mr. Uh, the Lieutenant Fordian has this abomination, this sort of a hand-faced creature out to get him. Man, it's, it's a crazy one. He's in like a hospital type thing. They're in Arizona or New Mexico or something like that, some part of the warm area. And there's a, basically a mystery going on of Banner, Bruce Banner, who's stuck in his Joe Fixit thing trying to figure out what's going on with him. He likes casinos and he's in a casino stand. Well... He gets searched out by this bad boy right here. And uh, they obviously have a battle. You can't tell from this drawing. And uh, it's a great horror-influenced both story and writing. Uh, we actually got Gamma Flight back this time around, which was nice. And uh, they touched on the Harpy, I think she's called, uh, version of Betty Ross. And they, they're kind of tying up a lot of loose ends. Maybe it's getting near the end of Mr. Ewing's run, unfortunately, if so. It's unfortunate, literally, if so. But... Uh, the Hulk has been a great run so far. Definitely horror-influenced ever since the get-go. I think you should go back and get those first couple issues that just got to reprint again if you have not checked them out. Now you can get them affordably. Enjoy it. Uh, the great Alex Ross painted covers really add to it as well. I would give Hulk a 9 out of 10 stars. Keep reading the series, enjoying it. Personally, I love it. Best Marvel comic coming out right now, in my opinion. Take care. Have a good one. Blackout.